over to you rajshree hello everyone how is everyone doing am i audible yes okay so shall we start today we are going to look into qatar let's go okay now we are starting okay so qatar is a peninsular arab country whose terrain comprises a red desert and a long persian gulf shoreline of beaches and dunes also on the coastline is the capital of qatar which is doha which is also known for its futuristic skyscrapers and very ultra modern architecture which is inspired by ancient islamic design such as the limestone museum of islamic art the museum sits on the city's corniche waterfront prom promenade okay promenade is a waterfront like it's a place where it's a kind of like a sidewalk in front of water bodies where there is space for people to walk on it okay so this is the introduction about the country we are going to tour today see this is where qatar is located can you see it's very small on the globe and then there is gulf of oman and this is qatar the red area is qatar and this is the bigger picture bigger diagram of how the country looks like a lot of places a lot of provinces and the national capital capital is doha this is on the coast okay now the flag of qatar the national flag of qatar is in the ratio of 11 is to 28 see it is a maroon colored flag with a broad white serrated band with nine white points on the hoist side see one with nine points i thought qatar starts with k because i didn't even know about it okay no it's in the middle east and it starts with q qatar a lot of the middle eastern words that sound k starts with q yeah i thought it was k yeah no no it's q so now you know something new okay so on the high side see it's nine points white points it was adopted shortly before the country's declaration of independence from britain on the 3rd of september and qatar's flag is the only national flag that has a width which is more than twice of its height see the width is more you can see from the picture you can see from the picture of the flag the width is more then twice the height of the flag okay that was the flag of qatar now about a little history so the history of qatar from its first duration of human occupation to its formation as a modern state human occupation of qatar dates back to around 50000 years ago and qatar's modern history begins conventionally in 1766 with the migration of the peninsular families from kuwait notably the al khalifa it's known as al khalifa okay so the area the area of the country is 11571 square kilometers the currency the national currency is qatari riyal the population is around 28.3 lakhs the capital as we know is doha it is the richest country in the world so qatar is the most rich country in the entire world 
it is a very safe country to travel to and the qatar national day is celebrated on 18th of december and it had sports like hamad port ports you know what ports are right there are sea ports from where goods are imported and exported across countries and nations and around the globe so hamad port is one of the ports in qatar and it's the main seaport located in south of doha in the amalhul area the name is amalhul area construction of this port began in 2010 and it become completely operational in december 2016 see this is these these are how the notes the currency notes look like in qatar okay this is the port this is the picture of the port with all the goods ready for shipment now the capital of qatar the capital of qatar is doha and it is the most populous city of qatar it has a population of around Nine lakhs fifty six thousand and four eight sixty people. That's a lot. The city is located on the very coast of Persian Gulf, as we have seen in that map, in the east side of the country, north of Al Wakra and south of Al Khor. It is Qatar's fastest growing city, with over eighty percent of the nation's population living in Doha or its surrounding suburbs. and it is also the political and economical center of the entire country doha was also founded in 1820s as an offshore of al bida it was officially declared as the country's capital in 1971 when qatar at last gained experience uh, gained independence sorry from the british regime from the british rule now this is the video which that we will watch after the ppt okay now what is the official language of qatar can anyone tell me um uh is it arabic yes absolutely right the national language official language of qatar is arabic and in this pie chart see we find all the all the various kinds of languages that are spoken in qatar see oh, arab they don't Pakistan. speak english some of them do but not like regionally it's it's mainly an islamic state in the middle east people usually uh, speak arabic or iranian or any other language which is an islamic language okay not a christian language not english so there is arab there is pakistani language there is indian there is iranian and 14% is other but mainly it's arabic now about the government of qatar the government of qatar is unitary semi constitutional monarchy like they still have princes and kings and everything but still they have a constitution which they follow and they were both work hand in hand to run the country so emir tamim bin hamad and the prime minister is khalid bin khalifa okay these names are a bit you know tough to pronounce but i think you can tamim emir tamim bin hamad and the prime minister is khalid bin khalifa now about sports in qatar qatar sports culture combine the traditional sports of arabian's desert society and modern western sports as well football is the most popular and most played sport in qatar and then they have cricket golf tennis horse racing basketball table tennis swimming volleyball and all those sorts of things traditional sports in arabian horse racing camel racing and falconry okay that's new see these are pictures of their teams qatar cricket association football team camel racing horse racing 
basketball. Okay. Now, Qatar's national animal. See, this is an Arabian oryx. This is how an Arabian oryx looks like. The Arabian oryx is the national animal of Jordan, Oman, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, and Qatar. It's very common. It has, yes? It has very big horns and lobs. Yes, no? It almost looks like a deer, don't you think? Yes. But with very big horns. See? Very big. That's why maybe it's the national animal of so many It countries. looks like knives. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they look very sharp. Very sharp. So, it's the national animal of so many countries. See, Jordan, Oman, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and Bahrain. The Arabian oryx is also known as the white oryx. When it is a medium-sized antelope. Because it's in white color. Yes, exactly. And it has a distinct shoulder bump, long straight horns, and tufted nail. Tails. I can't see the tail, but I'm hoping it has one tail behind it. So, yeah. The main feature is the long horn and it's white in color. Now the national flower of Qatar. It's Qatar. See, this is how the flower looks like. A bit of purple, a bit of red, and a bit of white in the middle. It's pretty, no? Oh, yes. Very pretty. And this is the national attire of the Qatar. Of Qatar. People dress up like this normally. See? Men wear Oh, they slightly look like rabbits. <laughs> Those. The men wear white and the women wear burkhas, black burkhas. This is pretty common. Like, Shirts and pants are not so common in Qatar. In entirety of the Middle Eastern nations, they wear dresses we like... We also wear those. Muslims wear those in uh, yes, India. Yes, yes. Yeah, in India, in India. But it is not that common. Like, everyone is not wearing it here, no? Yeah, only everyone is. Yeah, everyone is wearing it there. It's in Islamic states, so obviously it's very common there. So... Now the national tree. See, this is a Sidra tree. This is what the Sidra tree looks like. In the Qatari culture, the Sidra tree is the iconic symbol of the country's heritage. The Sidra has grown in the deserts of Qatar for generations. With roots that reach deep into the earth, fruit and flowers that nourish and leaves that heal, the Sidra tree became a beacon of comfort in the harsh desert environment, allowing life to flourish. The Sidra also provides sh shade, shelter to travelers and scholars who would escape the desert heat, gather together and share knowledge. So you see the Sidra tree, since it grows in the middle of the desert where there is absolutely no vegetation, and it's a beautiful tree which bears fruit and has leaves and it's green and has deep roots, reaches out for water. So it symbolizes what? It symbolizes that you can, you know, you can also grow in harsh conditions as well. So it became a beacon of comfort, a symbol for them. So that's why it's their national tree. This is the video. Now we will learn about the Qatar Airways. Since it is one of the, like, since it is the richest country in the entire world, it has a wide range of their own airlines. Okay. Let's see. Scheduled airlines, we all have heard of Qatar Airways, Qatar Airways Company, QCS cooperating as Qatar Airways is the state-owned flag carrier of Qatar, headquartered in the Qatar Airways Tower in Doha. The airline operates a hub and spoke network linking over 150 international destinations all across Africa, Asia, Europe, America, and Oceania from its base at Hamad International Airport 
using a fleet of more than 200 aircrafts that is a lot of aircrafts qatar airways employs more than 43000 people you can imagine how big the company is 43000 employees and more than 200 yeah more than 200 aeroplanes see and you can yeah, and you can go anywhere. It has 150 international destinations all across the world. Africa, Asia, Europe, wherever you want to go, Qatar is there. Qatar can take you there. Qatar Airways. Okay. The next is Chartered Airlines. Chartered Airlines, they have, see, this is Chartered Airlines. They have the Gulf Helicopters. This is the symbol for the eagle. That is the symbol for the Gulf helicopters. The Gulf helicopters is a helicopter service provider, mainly servicing the oil and gas industry in the Middle East, Yemen, North Africa, as well as India. It is a 100% subsidiary of Gulf International Services under the Qatar Petroleum Umbrella and has its headquarters in Doha, Qatar. So, you know, like the Middle East is very famous for supplying oil for its, it's the, the, they are the richest countries in the world. Qatar is mainly the richest country in the world because it has a lot of oil under its soil and they export a lot of oil. So, that's what they build their wealth on and they provide it to every, all, almost every nation in the country. Okay. Then there is Qatar Executive. Qatar Executive is a business jet subsidiary of Qatar Airways, which is also based in Doha. It was launched on June 16, 2009 at the Paris Air Show. Apart from its core business of aircraft car charters, Qatar Executive Services portfolio also includes aircraft management, maintenance, as well as a full range of fixed based operation services at the Doha International Airport. So they just basically provide a lot of services. And then they have the government airlines, which is Qatar Ameri Flight. Qatar Ameri Flight is a VIP airline owned and operated by the very government of Qatar. It operates worldwide charters on demand and caters exclusively to the royal family of Qatar and other VIP government staff. The vast majority of its fleet is painted in the standard livery of the commercial flag carrier of Qatar, which is the Qatar Airways. So this airline only provides services to the very important people in the government and it works privately for the royal family of Qatar, the prince and the princesses. al Airport. Al Khor Airport is located south of Al Khor in Qatar. The airport is mostly used by general aviation aircrafts and has served as the venue of annual Al Khor fly in since 2008. The fly in lasts for two days and allows visitors to travel in and view all the aircrafts that they have. And the aircrafts from other GCC countries are showcased in at the event. It's basically a show, a kind of a museum type of thing where they, where people come and they can see the different kinds of aircrafts that they have and they can fly around it. Okay. Then there's the Hamad International Airport. See, this is the picture of the Hamad International Airport. And the Hamad International Airport is the sole international airport in the state of Qatar, located south of its capital, Doha. It is, it replaced the former Doha's International Airport as Qatar's principal airport. So the Doha International Airport is not is now not the primary or the prime airport in Qatar. It's the Hamad International Airport. It's bigger and it provides better services than the Doha one. Okay. Then there are these videos. And there we are stopping with the people. So tell me. What did you like most about Qatar? Raise your hands and tell me. Qatar Airways. You like Qatar Airways? What did you like about Qatar Airways? 
I mean, the design of the tail makes it look like it's almost looking like it. The tail is looking kind of sad. Okay. Okay. Yes, Rohita. I like the national animal. You like the national animal. What did you like about it? Uh, I like the horns. <laughs> did Didn't you think it was they were like too long? No. Me too. I love that also. Okay. What if that animal? The, that's an oryx. What if that came like running after you? What will you do? I'll just stay when? like that so that they can't do anything. <laughs> they say to stand in that place where whenever a dog comes near you. Yeah, yeah. You should never like run away from it. So they will chase you more. If you stand there, they will stop. They will know that you are not a threat. But I can't do that. <laughs> Obviously, you will be scared. So you will want to run. But I'm sure nothing that un unfortunate is going to happen to you if you go to Qatar. You'll have only good experiences. Okay, Ansh, Ansh, you raise your that. hand. Yes, yes Abhi? One minute, Anj. Anj. Okay. Yes, Anj. Ma'am, that national animal of Qatar. The national animal of Qatar. Okay. Did any of you like anything other than the national animal of Qatar? Nothing else. <laughs> Okay, in this PPT, I, I don't think they, uh, like, there wasn't any uh, thing about the food or the cuisine, if right? If I need to uh, th think that if something is good there, I think those costumes which the men wore on top of that costumes. hair. Costumes. Like, on oh. top of their hair, that black and white color thing, that was so funny. That looks nice, no? Yes. You can make, I think you can make that at home only. Like you put a white piece of cloth over your head and you take a hairband, like the plastic ones. You wrap it with a black cloth. And then you put it on your head. You can make it for yourself. Okay, so do you guys like want to see uh, some of... Well, how many days do we have for the virtual tour? Like how many weeks? More? Manvi, would you like to answer that? Come again? Uh, how many weeks more do we have for the virtual tour to end? Okay, I guess two weeks more because we are going country-wise and right now we are in Qatar. Mm. So tomorrow we will be visiting Singapore. Only two weeks. Yeah. That's less. <laughs> okay. So you can join our next tour as well. We'll launch it in September. So if you wish, you can join that too. Um, after that tour, I could join. Yeah. And we have one more tour that is uh, airports, amusement parks and zoos of different countries across the world. So if you wish, you can join that too. Oh, I really love to learn about food. Okay. <laughs> so for tomorrow, the country is Singapore. So you all have to search about the beautiful places you can visit in Singapore. Okay. Uh, do we have yesterday's uh, video that recording? Yeah, I will share that too. Okay. Okay, so do you like today's tour to the Qatar? Yes. yes. Okay, so do you remember the national flower? Um, yes. What is it? It's in purple and something color. Yeah, do you remember the name? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, that's it. It's Kataf. Oh.
Iya. So, we are starting with S from tomorrow. Come again. We are starting with S. Yeah. So, tomorrow is Singapore. Okay. Yes. Hi. Sorry, I was having some something happened with my laptop. Okay, that's okay. So that was all about our today's tour to the Qatar. We'll meet you tomorrow and we'll visit Singapore. So have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.